My name's Megs and I'm a project manager for a large organisation. I heard about the Thrive Training as part of a new initiative at work and I quickly signed up for it. I wanted to know more about supporting my colleagues who might be suffering some of the different issues covered in the training. Um, so I knew that it was about sort of mental health awareness, uh, well-being, those sorts of areas. As soon as we started the training, I quickly identified you know, some of my own issues, which I didn't even realise I had. So the unhelpful thinking styles, I definitely identified with a lot of those. Um, perfectionism, so the need to perfect sort of perhaps a slide set at work or make sure that the presentation I'm delivering is absolutely perfect before I'm ready to deliver it. Um, and also the need to be in control, so making sure I know what's going on in one of my projects and making sure I know every single detail before I proceed. Um, so those are some of the, the different areas that I identified in myself that I didn't realise that I had. Um, one of the big areas that the Thrive training made me realise is that I control my own feelings, so no one else controls those. If I'm feeling a certain way, or if I'm wor worrying or overanalyzing something, um, even catastrophizing something, I have the power to stop that. I can stop those thoughts or I can change my thought pattern to be a more positive one. And it's really simple, but really powerful to realise that. And you kind of think afterwards, why haven't I done this before? Um, I've got so many examples of where Thrive has helped me. So at the moment, I'm planning for my wedding. Um, a lot of my friends are saying how chilled I am about it. Um, so I'm trying not to be too much of a, of a perfectionist. There's a lot of things that are outside of your control when you're planning a wedding. Um, so we're getting married near the beach and I really need the weather to be good. Um, before Thrive, I probably would have worried quite a lot, um, but I know I've put lots of things in place to, to stop that. So I've put the effort into, um, if the weather is bad, then I've put the effort into um, have somewhere where my guests can go and sit. So for example, a gazebo. Um, so I need to just stop worrying. I can't control it. Um, Work-wise, I've got a lot more confidence to just go for it. Um, so I'm sort of grabbing every opportunity with both hands without second-guessing myself or thinking twice about things before I go for it, whether I have the right skill set and so on. I'm just going for it and then thinking I can learn, learn along the way, um, which is really positive. I'm getting the same, if not better, results, but without the stress and anxiety that I had before. So I'm not overanalyzing things or worrying about things. I'm, I'm sort of just being really efficient and going for it. Um, I also don't beat myself up if things don't quite go to plan. So if a meeting doesn't quite go the way I wanted it to, um, I'm just taking what I can from it and learning from it um, and sort of turning it into positives as well so that I can add it to my positive list. Um, another thing is that I'm a new mum so obviously being a new mum and going back to work was very, uh, I felt very anxious about it, about focusing on my career and how I was going to have that, you know, that work-life balance and be able to focus on my career and also provide for my daughter. Um, so Thrive has really helped me deal with some of those feelings as well and realise that I'm working to provide a better life for my daughter and look at all of the positives in that rather than, you know, rather than the negatives. So what does thriving mean to me? Um, so it means grabbing every opportunity that comes my way, um, learning from things that don't quite go to plan, like I said, uh, watching my language to be more supportive to colleagues. So, you know, if someone's having a bad day, maybe installing a bit of positivity rather than listening and agreeing, um, just using positive language and, and nice language rather than a negative mindset, which I didn't do before, but it's just remembering your, your wording. No longer catastrophizing or overanalyzing situations, um, and also constantly seeing the positives. So uh, from the small things like having a quick cup of tea um, to you know delivering a great presentation in a board meeting. So thank you very much to the Thrive team.